Hi. In this video, I'm going to uh, give you a quick introduction to the Spider ID. As I said in the previous uh, video, you can install the Spider. You can install the Python and then install the Spider ID, and then connect them together. Uh, but probably the easier easiest way to get the Spider ID is to install the Anaconda um, uh, distribution. So if you install it in any way. If you install it in Anaconda, you can go to Anaconda Navigator and then go all the way down and click on the launch spider and launch and so this part. Launch or you just simply can type here spider and then you can click on that and it will launch the spider. Either way, just remember the spider usually takes a little bit time before it can start because it's a big package, lots of uh, packages need to load it. So after you start it, you see something like that. Um, if uh, yours probably is going to be all uh, in the dark background, I prefer the white background, so I change it later on. I'll show you how to do that. But generally, this is um, you know, what you are going to get. Um, and it has a different section. I will quickly just tell you what are each the section uh, does. So here in this section is where you can type your code, basically it's a code editor. When you open it, usually you have a temp file. It's open and if you want, you can uh, always uh, open a new one and start to type whatever code you want um, in here. Um, uh, <coughs> then save it. So for example, um, assume here I open this file and I'm going to just uh, uh, save it for example as a test and remember it should be dot pi save it so i have it now i can mm, write my code in there and then i have for example print <coughs> hello work and then i have it mm, i'm gonna throw out this um, Series, I'm gonna use it and uh, slowly I'm gonna explain um, how it works. But for example, here you see as, as soon as I type the print, there's a, the help comes out and show you that uh, for the print function what I'm supposed to put in there. So I can again when I'm done, I can go ahead and save it. So this is our code editor that we have it here. Uh, here there's a couple of um, that we are going to use it one of them is this button here that it run the the selected file so here is a test.py is a selected file if i click on that it run the entire file so if i go and click on that it's going to uh, run that file and here you will see it on the console that says that it write it and then print that for me uh, <clears throat> Another one is that if I'm going to break it into the section, so I can show you later on, you can break your code into the section by just adding um, uh, this sign. So it's going to be another section. I can add another section. So any, any of these is going to be considered as one section. So here, if I click on that, it's going to only run whatever is in this section or whatever section I am. So uh, sometimes we want to break our code in a couple of sections. So we know, for example, which is which. Um, uh, eventually for Python, the entire code is a simple file, but here we can run it section by section in this IDE. Here, one of the, um, um, one part of the code that probably we use it a lot is this one that run is a, a, a selection so sometimes assume i have lost um, uh, lost part lots of course i assume i have another uh, one as print one two and three and assume if i if i run the entire code and remember anytime i run the code it's going to save it if i run the entire code it runs every line of code I have but sometimes I need only part of the code to be run so I assume I only need this part I only want this line to be uh, run or 
part of the code that I can find. Any part of the code I want to run, I can select it. And then if I click on that, it only uh, run that selected part of the code, not the entire code. Or I can right click and it's here, run selection. Or as I said, it's easier, so it's just come here and run it. So it's run that um, selection. Um, the rest of that, maybe later on we go to so for debugging the code. So if we have a large code and want to go through the code step by step and see what's happening, probably that's the part we are going to use for uh, debugging the code. Um, so, and maybe we we'll talk about them later. This uh, Windows here, if you look at it, it has a couple of um, you know, tab here that you can select them. So one of them is the head. The first one usually when it opens the help side so has the help in there. Um, you can use it. The one that one of them we use it a lot is the variable explorer. So if we have the variable, it's going to be show up here. And if you want to see the variable or the evaluate that variable, we can go there and look at it. Uh, for example, here if I type a is equal to, I press enter. So that variable a is going to be show up here. So if I say another variable b equal to 1, again the another variable is going to be there. And it say c is equal to 3, again that one is going to be there. So it will show you all the variables you have, type of the variable, size of that, and all those information. If you click uh, on them, um, usually um, if you have the a larger one is going to uh, open a tab. So, five. So, have like that, and so it's going to open it so you can uh, see uh, whatever is inside that variable. Um, so, it's a very helpful uh, tool that we're going to work with that a lot. If sometimes we need to delete them. If we want to delete any of them, we just can select that variable or press the delete on your keyboard and say so we want to remove it. Yeah, if you want to remove all of them, just Control A. Uh, while you're in here, just press Control A and then press delete on your keyboard and then yes, and you delete all the variables uh, you have. Uh, another tab here is the plot. <coughs> you if you plot anything, it's going to show here. Uh, you can uh, later on uh, disable it or make it change where you want to plot to be shown. I will show you later. And here's the file explorer here. And remember, in each of those tabs that you are, you can have um, this uh, setting here that you can come and make changes. For example, what type of variable you want to be shown, or if you are in the plot, you can come here and see what type of plot you want to be shown. The other one uh, is this part here, which is the uh, IPython console. It's basically, you can type whatever code that you want and whatever code of Python there, and it uh, uh, would be run there. So like if I print anything here, and then I press enter, it will just run and print the result there. Now, so basically you can see um, uh, it's like you can see the command of Python here and how they are running uh, here. One thing about the console is that sometimes you have a big code, you want to restart the entire code or you, for example, you run a code, your code freezes. One thing here you can, if you come click here and then restart the kernel, uh, if you click on that, basically it restarts your uh, Python. So it restarted the Python, all the variables you have will be deleted, everything restarted uh, like a fresh uh, start. So that's a good thing to remember that if you have a problem you want to restart it, don't close the spider and open it, just come here and restart the kernel for that. And the last thing I want to say is that if you come here in the tools and in the preferences, click on the preferences, uh, just show you two three things there you can play with the rest there the first one is the appearance if you want to make any changes in appearance of what you see you can come here and um, 
do those change those changes here the other one is a python interpreter if if you install it with the anaconda by default you use the anaconda python but if you want to connect the spider to another uh, python you can come here and um, use the following python interpreter click here and select that uh, python if you have it and the other one that i want to show is here is for the ipython and then for the graphic if you come here on the ipython graphic and uh, graphic backend is here so you can um, choose if you, you want your plot to be in line or automatic or any of them if you choose in line all your plots is going to be plotted in um, uh, ipython console but if you choose automatic or any of the other one it's gonna your plus gonna be on the separate uh, <coughs> uh, windows so it's if the separate windows open your plot is gonna be there um, the rest you can just play with them if you want to um, configure the python uh, the, the spider and probably the last thing is that probably the last menu we might use it is this search menu here that we can use it to find and replace usually when we have a large code we want to find part of the code or we want to replace a specific name or variable or character we can come here uh, and um, uh, do that there okay it's a very quick uh, uh, overview of the spider but throughout the next videos uh, when we are working uh, or introducing the other part of the python if there are more options the spider comes out i will talk about